Are you someone who wants to accomplish more in your life, but for some reason you find yourself being stuck in a perpetual state of stagnation and you're wondering why is it that despite reading books and watching YouTube videos like this or maybe even practicing positive thinking or taking positive action, why you can't gain momentum towards accomplishing more in life. I'm going to discuss with you the 19 habits that are destroying your chances at success. And maybe it's not you, but if you know somebody who is sabotaging their own efforts through any of these habits, share this video with them as to one of the best things you can do to help people is to build awareness around the types of actions that are preventing them from reaching the success that they want and from maximizing their potential. Number one, the habit of complaining. Look. I'm not saying this from a place of righteousness. I used to be a very big complainer myself, constantly complaining about how things were not going well in my life. And when you complain, you become a crap magnet. You start to attract all the negative things and the negative people. And what happens is when you're complaining, your focus and attention is on what's wrong with the world. And from that place, it's very hard to see the objective reality. And it's certainly very hard to create. So if you're somebody who's complaining, I set you a challenge just for the next seven days try not to complain about a single thing and see what it does to your life the second habit that is destroying people's chances at success is not being grateful i understand that life is full of challenges for everybody no matter who you are no matter what stage of life you get at the fact is going to be you're going to continually have problems and challenges and at some point you may even have to deal with adversity but the attitude of gratitude is really about placing your attention on what's right with your life and what other things that are working for you. It's very difficult to do, especially when you're surrounded by negative people and negative environments. But gratitude is all about looking at all the things that you've already done and all the things that are right in your life rather than focusing on what's wrong. When your focus is on all the things that are not right in your life, it actually reduces your energy. And again, from that place, you can't really produce, perform or create. The third habit that is destroying people's chance of success is being satisfied too easily. Now I know this one is going to fly in the face of what a lot of people believe because so many people have been told that being satisfied and being content is a good thing. However, if you really reflect, you will find that dissatisfaction is a creative state and anyone that has ever innovated, created, disrupted or discovered something has always come from a place of dissatisfaction. And even Napoleon Hill in his book Think and Grow Rich talks about the fact that the first prerequisite to success is a burning desire. And obviously, if you're satisfied, you're not going to have that burning desire that you need to propel yourself into action. The fourth habit that is not just destroying your chances of success, but is also a time waster is the habit of gossiping. See, gossiping is all about talking about individuals rather than talking about events and ideas. And what it does is it actually reduces us to the lowest denominator of what it means to be human because we are spending and putting all of our time on criticizing and bringing others down rather than coming up with solutions that can raise others. This is an absolute waste of time and you will find that people who regularly engage in the habit of gossip are not the people who are accomplishing great things out there or even impacting other people's lives. The fifth habit that will also destroy your chance of success is playing a victim. I think it's very fashionable these days to act like a victim and feel like you're helpless and everything is happening to you rather than by you. Now this will get you a lot of attention in the short term, especially by people who also embrace the victim mindset, but it's not going to help you accomplish things and it certainly won't make you a high performer. The sixth habit that is also going to destroy your chance of being successful is being overly sensitive. Now, I'm not saying that you need to be a cold person and not feel anything. But overly sensitive people are people who are easily crushed by the situations that happen in life or the problems that take place in life. And they fail to understand that there is a case for people to become mentally tough in order to be able to thrive in the real world. You see, wherever you go, there's going to be politics. There's going to be backstabbing. Someone's going to criticize you. Someone's going to misunderstand you. It's just a way of life. But if you're overly sensitive, what's going to happen is every time one of those things happen, it's going to slow you down or worse, it's going to stop you from achieving the things you want. The seventh habit that is also destroying the chance of success for a lot of people is having too much downtime. 
Now, I think it's important that everybody has some time for relaxation and rejuvenation. But too much downtime means you're spending way too much time either sleeping or browsing mindlessly on social media or doing the types of things that are not really creating any value for you and your life. Now, when you start to have too much downtime or you are somebody who has convinced yourself that downtime is a good thing, well, yes it is, but we need downtime so we can get back on the horse and we can get back on our mission. If you have an objective of downtime where you actually really feel that you deserve a lot of downtime every single day, well, the question is, how are you going to outperform or outdo somebody who's putting more time in their mission and their passion and their work? Now, you might say, I'm not really interested in competing with everybody, but the world is becoming very, very competitive. And if you have way too much downtime, you're not putting time into the types of creative endeavors that can propel your life forward. The eighth habit that will also result in underachievement and destroy your chances at success is not scheduling and prioritizing. You see, all successful people prioritize the important things in life and they schedule them so that it's an automated behavior. Otherwise, what's going to happen is your life is going to fill up with all the types of activities that are not really adding value in your life. And you'll find that you really don't have time for the important things. Now, if you're not prioritizing things in your diary, I have to make sure that the most important things in my life are actually scheduled because what is written becomes real. If you're not writing it down and you think that it's going to be in your mind and you're just going to follow it, the chances are that you probably won't. You need to prioritize all the things that are important in your life and that are going to move the needle forward in terms of allow you to live by your highest value and allow you to accomplish the things that you want. You're going to need to start to become really good at prioritizing and scheduling them. The ninth habit that can absolutely destroy your chances of success is not having goals. Our goals give you a purpose to get up in the morning and it creates momentum. And when you have a meaningful and relevant goal, you have a reason to have a plan and to strategize. In the absence of goals, we get up and we waste our time. And worse, we end up wasting our time on things that don't really matter. So it, there's enough science to say that people who set goals and more importantly, the ones who put them in writing have a much higher probability of achieving those goals because the reticular activation system is triggered and they automatically become more attentive to the types of situations, opportunities, events and people that will result in the accomplishment of their goals. The 10th habit that is very certain to destroy your chances of success is hating on other people's success. You see, what you envy, you will automatically move away from because in your mind, you will justify why that's a bad thing. One of the best things you can do to become successful is to bless other people's success. And the moment you feel envy, you're creating negative associations with the thing that you may want for yourself. And this is one of those things that definitely destroys people's chances of becoming successful themselves. The 11th habit that will also compromise your chance of becoming successful is attacking what you don't understand. You see, successful people have self-awareness and they're very aware of their beliefs and biases. And that's why they don't experience an emotional outburst when they're challenged or their beliefs and biases are challenged. Whereas you'll find that a lot of unsuccessful people who lack self-awareness are easily triggered by things that challenge their current belief system. What is the problem with that? Well, the issue is if you can't change your mind, you can't change your life. And if you want to become successful, there'll be many times in your life where you're going to have to embrace and adopt a new point of view. And that will require you to change your mind and look at things from a different perspective. The 12th reason which also destroys people's chance of becoming successful is spending too much time on pleasure, entertainment and indulgence. I think we all need to have some things that we can do that bring us joy and pleasure. But excessive time can easily become a bad habit and once that habit kicks in, you'll find that you're going to start to become addicted to the types of indulgences that in the short to medium term feel good, but in the long term will destroy your capability, your potential and your chances of success. The 13th habit that is also going to prevent you from moving forward and accomplishing more is staying in an uninspired job. The reason why people stay in uninspired jobs is because they simply have more respect for their past than their future vision and they don't have the courage to actually move forward towards their dreams. Now, it has a debilitating effect. If you're working in an uninspired job for a very long period of time, it naturally puts you in a low energetic vibration, but also over a period of time, you lose the confidence that is so required for people to become successful. The 14th habit that will destroy any chance of success is hanging out with people who don't want a better future. 
What's around us eventually gets inside of us. And when we're surrounded by people who have no vision, no goals, and no zest for life, eventually you will end up justifying that that's the way to live for yourself as well. People who don't want a better future, in my opinion, are living a very unnatural life because the whole human condition is about progress and evolution. So when we ourselves put a lid on our evolution, we end up going backwards in life because nothing in life remains in the same place. If you're not moving forward, you're automatically moving backwards. And when you are spending a lot of time with people who don't want a better future, you will end up rationalizing to yourself why it's not worth for you to be working towards a better future. And as you stay in the same place, you will find that over five or 10 year period, you're going to go behind, you're gonna go backwards, and you're gonna feel like you're left behind. The 15th habit that will destroy your chances at success is the habit of acting helplessly. Human beings are a lot more resourceful than they realize. And when we start to believe that we need external resources, but we don't tap into our internal resourcefulness, over a period of time, our internal resourcefulness starts to deplete and we find that our capabilities are being diminished. The 16th habit that will destroy your chance of becoming successful is the need for ease. You see, when you're looking for ease, you're looking for the path of least resistance. But all the success actually happens on the path of most resistance. Because if you even in nature, if you have a look, the most beautiful destinations follow the most treacherous paths. And ease is one of those things that actually makes people very lazy and complacent. And over a period of time, their capabilities diminished. And once their capabilities diminished, when they're struck by problems, challenges, and adversity, they find themselves overwhelmed and they find that they don't have the ability to be able to overcome those problems because they have been constantly opting for ease rather than developing their capability to deal with difficulties. The 17th habit that also destroys people's opportunity at success is listening to people that don't have the results that they want. You see, these days, everybody will give you an opinion and give you advice, but the fact is, do they have the results that you want? Taking advice from the wrong people is worse than getting no advice at all, because a lot of the times people will give you the advice that's going to take you even further backwards rather than giving you the right advice. And honestly, how can anybody give you the right advice if they haven't experienced the path that you want to be on and they haven't got the results that you want? The 18th habit that will also destroy your chance of success is to not listen to the people who actually have the results and ignore their advice. And that can sometimes be happen because a lot of people have a lot of ego or they might feel that they know better. But you know, here's the thing. If you have identified somebody that has good results and they're doing the things that you want to be doing, maybe they know what they're talking about and neglecting their advice might be a very, very costly mistake that might affect your chances of success. And the 19th habit that destroys people's chances at success is not to take 100% responsibility for their life results and trying to blame someone else or something else for where they're at. You see, when you take 100% responsibility, you're actually empowering yourselves. You're not blaming yourself, you're empowering yourselves. We're not talking about blaming yourself. We're talking about taking 100% responsibility. Blame is negative, but responsibility is positive. And when you take 100% responsibility for everything that happens to you, you actually become more resourceful. On the other hand, when you start blaming someone else or somebody else for where you're at, you are giving up your power and your authority. And that's not a good thing because if you want to become successful, you will find that the most successful people are able to handle a lot more responsibility. But the people who are not successful can only handle a little bit of responsibility. So when something goes wrong, rather than looking for something else or somebody to blame, ask yourself, how did you contribute to the situation? And if you do that enough times, you'll find that your capabilities will increase and your chances at becoming successful will also increase with that.